What's going on, guys? Back up the secret flounder hole again. Gonna see if we catch a flounder today. Switching it up. You know, hey man, you can only catch so many kingfish before you get a little tired and want something new. Let's see how it goes. Stay tuned. There we go, boys. Yeah. Right at my feet, too, bro. Woo. That's what we we're looking for. I'm gonna go back and start going. There you go, boy. Three more to go. Slow and steady. Nice flounder, man. That, hey, you already know, boys. Hey, fishing boys. Oh, yeah. You got to work your lure all the way to you because that one was literally maybe 10 feet away from me when it hit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, get up there and uh, get your last one. Last keeper. Okay. What that is, boys. Stick it to the bottom. It might be a flounder. It might be a flounder. It's not shaking or anything. Flounder's flounder. Come on. Come on. It's a nice one. Man, that's a sucky thing about <laughs> wave fishing. It's hard to land them. Oh, it's all the net. It's all the net. There's a flounder. And just spit it. That's a keeper, boys. Jack them up. Hey, 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 stay over there. Stay over there. Don't come over here. There's a good one. Right in front of you. How's it going? Stringer boat, man. I felt it. It felt good. I'm light record. I set the hook and it barely moved. Look at that, boys. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Stringer boat. Okay, let me get on this side. Look at that. That's what we're after. Yes, sir. Persistence pays off, boys. Oh, man. Beautiful. That's a South Texas flounder right there. Yes, sir. Oh, he swallowed it, man. Look at that. That's why I don't wait for them to swallow it, because if they're big enough, they're going to swallow it anyway. Look at that. He, he thumped it, and I just set the hook on him. I don't wait for them to swallow it. 
They're big enough. They'll swallow. They'll swallow it. The first hit. There's a few key tips when you're going after flounder. One, you're gonna want to have your lure near the bottom. You know, flounder will come up and hit top water sometimes. You know, they will come up off the bottom and bust on shrimp or whatever. But most of the time, the vast majority of the time, the flounder are waiting in ambush on the bottom. So you need to keep your lure towards the bottom of the water column. Keep it in that strike zone. Two, you better have sharp hooks. Flounder have very hard mouths. So you better have a sharp hook that will penetrate that hard mouth. Three, you better have a good hook set because again, they have hard mouths. You need to penetrate that hard mouth. It also helps to have a rod and reel with braid so it doesn't stretch as much, giving you a little more oomph on that hook set and also fluorocarbon because it doesn't stretch as much as uh, most monos. And also work that lure all the way to you, especially when you know flounder are in the area because they will follow your lure until they decide to hit it. So work it all the way in. I've caught in flounder at the end of my rod tip. All right, guys, had a great day out here on the water. We know y'all wanted a flounder video, so of course, we're out here grinding to get y'all some beautiful flounder to look at. Some big old flatty boys, some tasty ones to eat. Of course, caught them on AM lures. Look at that. That's an awesome haul right there. Oh, <laughs> beautiful flatty boys. As always, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you got a question, comment, go ahead and drop it in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, y'all have a great day.